golf mate right today's vlog is another mystery tour but it's also about one man's passion for a golf club and won't let it close it's a bit similar theme than a video from a few days ago traffic and warm beer you tell me two worst things in the world Oh, this coronavirus, oh my god. Kirsty said to me today, she went, I've got a surprise for you to work with you tomorrow. Oh, golf. Hand steriliser for this coronavirus. I thought she made me a pat lunch or something. Chicken and rice. Morning campers, how are we? Right, I brought you down here on another road trip because I, I met an interesting man and he single-handedly saved a golf club. Yes, a golf club. But I'm gonna get into that shortly. Now where am I? So I'm at Murrayland Golf Club in Rochdale, which is in Lancashire, God's country, near Manchester, Bolton and Bury. I'll bang it up on the map for the people from USA. So this is a cotton town. But it's got this golf club here and it were closing and this man my name's andrew terry and we operate marlon golf course in rochdale saved it because he, he were in love with this place and he grew up here but i'm going to get more and more into that as we go on so i'm going to play a few holes and i've come to like they call it the triangle or amen corner so we're going to have a look at it see if i'm still playing well i did a video yesterday with ebay pete that's not quite edited yet but it's a good one it's a good one in the fact where when you think you've got golf, it bites you and kicks you in the bum. I mean, look at these people here. No disrespect for them. I bet they wish there were me playing golf right here, right now. Come on. Right, golf mates. I've started off stroke one. And I don't know why it's stroke one, because it's only 330 yards. It is uphill, slight dog leg. I've got three willy out. I've had about seven shots. Back was bad yesterday. It feels a bit better today, which helps. Oh my God. You'll see that with a shot tracer. That is called a stinger. Tiger Woods made it famous. I just copied him. Tell you what, it's getting warm now. We're freezing this morning. Right, so, this course was designed by James Braid. Yes, the name I know, I think he's an architect. Is he a good one? I have not a clue. Do I care? No. Because this video is about Andy, or is it Paul? One or two. So we met Andy or Paul at Heaton Park. We did a video a few days ago. If you've not seen it, it's a good video. And he was telling me about he got to Heaton Park running that because of this course. So i um been attached here for 20 years now. Started playing golf here uh, with my dad back in 1999. Um, joined the golf club, got a handicap of 24. Used to play every single day. Um, and then I got the job as the assistant professional here with uh, David Wills, who was the pro at the time. I'll tell you what, great shot, but it's, a shame. it's just half frosted a little bit, but it should hold the ball. I would have left it another hour, this hole's great. So yeah, it's in the car here. I've got a pitching wedge, 130 downhill. No. The lad who saved everything, Andy or Paul, he's not somebody who's chucked all the money at it. You know, he's not he's not got a lot of money, but he loves the course. So he just So what we've been doing is we just relaxed all the rules. So we don't have a dress code. We we don't have, you know, we don't interview people before they join and join a season ticket. So we put on uh, weekly sessions for beginners, get into golf sessions. 
This is designed for newbies. Uh, we have a PGA qualified professional who looks after the group, takes them step by step through all the different aspects of, of the game. And then we have a little community that we can sort of um, put people into contact with, arrange games, um, you know, get together, play after work, play on a Saturday morning, um, you know, and really support each other as they learn how to play. And it's just try and get golf back to the masses where you don't need brand new clubs. You don't need all the gear. You can come and play whatever you want, play with your mates and enjoy yourself, which golf needs this to get more popular. It does. The more popular, the better. Right, pitching wedge. Place the ball there, placed it, placed it, placed it. That looked so good. It's on the green there, you see it? See, you want people to enjoy golf. You want people more out playing, more enjoyment, exercise. I've been to this club this morning and I've realised there's a lot of coffin dodgers who play at this course. But what a great little crack they've got. What a great social life they've got. They come meet, bacon bam, coffee, chill out, have a relax and they go out and play. It's brilliant, it's brilliant. Gotta keep them clean. Great shot that, wasn't it? Right. A nice two foot, and I'm going to talk about a bad back situation. Not bad. See, you see as usual, this video is going to go off topic. So I played yesterday with eBay Pete, and I had a bad back, and it amazing that if you have a bad back, your golf swing can change. But, but, if you have a short game, so you've got to practice a short game, you can still play golf. So a reasonable standard. Anyway, back to this course, nice hole. So this is the only hole what's a bit frosty, so we're back going now, and we're playing a nice dog leg, then it looks like a beautiful, beautiful par three. How much do you think it is to play this course? How much? Right. 256 uphill and I think the safest shot is driver so I'm gonna go for it need a nickname for this but I'm gonna get fitted it's really loud nickname for it oh it's fading towards the green oh the tree it's well past the tree so it's 12 pounds to play golf today which is Unreal, honestly. So his vision is fantastic and also his love for the course where he didn't want it shut is it's amazing. Like I say he's been here a long time, so it's got a lot of respect in my book. A lot of respect. Right, so also this course is set on a park and it's like a hub of community. So it's got one big old building, and inside the building there's like I think Rochdale Harriers Running Club, there's kids football, there's a gymnastics. There's everything. It's, uh, it's a hub of the community. It's like us golf mates as a community. That reminds me, the video at Heaton Park got 4,000 likes and that's helped the video massive. And it also put up the old uh, fingers to the trolls. So definitely like the video because what you're doing is you're telling the trolls to do one. And eventually they're outnumbered and they're going to get sick of it. So this is that gap wedge I got made. It's a uh, 50 degree, I think. But I just need give it a clean but I've got to, wa got to keep washing my hands like Kirsty said with that Corona's disease right let's get it there I've not zapped it this is a soft hands feel scoopy whoopy shot that's a touch of magic that I think I've got about a six footer So you know me, golf mates like being honest and answering questions. There are a couple of people said, oh Liam, you know, it's uh, try and get play with a few more golf mates and the lads. Well, honestly, that's my intention. So as soon as Joe comes in May, we're laughing, we're laughing. I'm just going to get to May. So yesterday I played with eBay, went to a lovely course, won't tell you yet, and it was quite busy. And you'll see in the video how much ducking and diving we had to do. And also you've got pressure then behind you. This green's been hand cut, look at this. Yeah, you got pressure behind you then for rushing, so it's not easy. But I always like to 
I explain a bit and then, then you can see. So today I've just come straight on the back nine, so I'm on my own. People are out on the front nine and I'm easy, I've got no one behind me. Birdie pot. Right, I'm going to leave it in for your benefit, golf mates. It's quite subtle here, it's like in a ball, it's, uh, it's going to be a tricky read. So also, Bury's near here and Bury has, you won't believe this, an old steam railway. I know that because I took my daughter there last year. So it's old steam trains. I'll go and show you it. See? There's no Thomas the Tank Engine there, is there? Eh? At the line. So that's another part. I'm just wondering, who do you think of this lad had a vision? I keep blowing him up really, because it's just the respect I've got for him that he didn't want to let his local golf club close. Right, golf mates, what a hole this is. You imagine with the leaves on the trees. Right, I have got 150 yards. I mean, this is coming off in a minute. It was zero. Honestly, it was zero degrees this morning. It is coming off, it's too warm. I want to get a good shot for you here. And I've not chucked my club on the floor, have you noticed? I've just placed it earlier on. Right, I've got eight iron, because being that caddy on the European tour, I believe that is a club downhill, or club less. Right of the pin will be nice. Do not go left in the graveyard. But if I do, I'm not going to hurt them because I don't think they'll feel it. Have I got there? I think it might be short. Oh, bloody hell, look at the shakiness of that. I'm not a golf scientist. I've got it there, but bloody hell. Chicken and rice. Where's my grunts? But, it was a great shot, wasn't it? But have you seen the stripy greens? So, and they didn't know we were coming. Makes it even special. It's getting better and better, that shot, isn't it? So, I'm going to go back to him again. And it amazes me that one man had a dream for Save a Golf Club, and he's done it on his own, just with a business plan to the local council, sorry, him and his silent partner, where it's about getting people to golf, making the course friendlier, better, hand mowing greens, no, you know, just playing no match, just play as it is. I'm not saying it's what they want, but it's, if you're a golfer and you ring up a course and it's on winter greens and mats, you're 50-50 if you're gonna purchase a day ticket and play. Now, I look at it like me, I had a dream. I, would, I wanted to be like a YouTuber when I did it for a laugh and I enjoyed it. And luckily, because you watch and you like the videos, it's happened and this man, they're surviving, because that's... And I heard that the golf course was struggling, they were losing a lot of money every year and it was going to close, Rochdale Council announced the golf course was going to close and me and Joe, we grew up here playing golf. Uh, Joe's granddad was a keen golfer, played four or five times a week. My dad used to play here, he joined back in the 90s. So we really care about this place, we love the golf course and we decided we'd step in because we didn't want to see the course close and we put a plan together and Rochdale Council were really supportive of it and then we, we actually took over uh, last April and been running it ever since. So fair play to him, in fact I'd love to come back in about six months or in about a few months when it's summer when it's beautiful to see if it is surviving and how it looks like. Oh, I'm happy with that in the end. I'm probably too uh, hard on myself sometimes. So, great little backdrop. See if I can put one in for our friends who have sadly passed away. Wonder if there's any golfers there. Oh. I was thinking, do you know what? I am gonna try and get some of the golfers who I see on here on camera, because there's a few golf mates, because uh, a lot have said hello to me this morning, because they're kind, nice people. I mean, I won't lie to you, golf mates. I've uh, I've left that quite a lot. That, that's nearly the length of eBay Pete. That it's a bit of a knee knocker. Right. 
be firm, head straight, shoulders rock, in, out, shake it all about. Didn't get a clap off them. Right, another par. Is that three holes I've played? Well, I'll play another because I'm swinging well, sun's getting out and uh, I want to go for another mooch. Come with me, hope you're liking the video. And are you singing? I'm just asking, I'm not singing. Are you singing? I've met my love. Throat one, this looks an hard hole. Looks nice, well, don't take my word for it. Have a look for yourself. Right, golf mates, this looks a bit of a different challenge, doesn't it? Proper hard hole. What's the full shebangs, isn't it? Right hand side. All belong, mate. Two That's seconds, young man. You can watch me hit this in the poo poo if you want. I'll be following you. Hey, no pressure now. <laughs> Won't get any more live than this. Yeah. Thank you. Ooh. Right, we've got a fellow member here. What's your name, young man? Matt. Mark, did he hit a good shot? Yeah. Right, how long have you been coming playing golf here? 20 years on and off. And I'm doing a video just because I think one man saved a golf club. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. So totally. going for him, you won't be playing today. No, totally agree. Absolutely brilliant. And is the course come on since he's come on? Oh, I just want 80%, to be real. 80%. On, and that's gospel. Honest, oh, gospel. So gospel truth to the green team here and Andrew. Brilliant. So it's not Paul then, it's Andrew. Andrew so he's a pro and I don't know what the green staff's called. No, I've been calling Andrew Paul. Have you? Yeah, but is it Andrew? The pro is, yeah. Right, so there you go. So he's doing a good job. Yeah, brilliant. Keep the dream alive, Andrew. <laughs> right, golf mates. Found it, not bad drive, tailed off. Just think I'm lifting these hands again. Pin is about 190, but it's downhill, so I'm thinking it'll play 180. I've got a six iron. And it's this tree here. And this tree here, I want to be bang in the middle. Better hurry up and getting caught up. This is the thing with vlogging when you're chilling out. So, clean the club. I've got six iron. Hopefully, I can keep my hands low and this elbow in. I've got slow mo on, and we'll see if I am doing it or not. Absolute great strike, but it's nowhere near the pin. It'd be good to see that if I looped. I think I did loop, but the strike was great, but it didn't fade. Looking at this now, if I'm not in that bunker, I might have lost my ball. Beautiful hole though, isn't it? Proper stroke one. I wondered that other hole before, why I was saying it was stroke one. Must have been stroke 11. Right, I'm going to stop the clubs rattling. Don't forget, I'm playing a bomb and I can see it. Edge of the green. And that's a tree, come over there. Get in. I'm part of this, I'll be buzzing. Let's make sure it's mine. Can hear a waterfall, it's meant to be a beautiful par 3 after here, which I'll uh, Oh yeah baby, yeah baby. Right golf mates, you might hear the waterfall here, it's quite noisy. I'm going to chip this, it's just a bit frozen here, there's a few twigs because of this tree. Right, it's that little gap wedge you're on about. I want this halfway. Come on, it's all live, take it or leave it. As somebody once said, who I don't know his name, I've got a chance. Right golf mates, nice setting there, so I'll give you a bit of the river. Hold on the river, and that weren't a pump, it sees, listen. Hear it? Right. What a four holes this will be. Blastery. Well, told you, top flight bomb. Doesn't matter about new clubs, nice clothes, means nothing. Wear what you want, play with what you want. Top flight bomb, four pars, but that's not the point. The point is, 12 points to come and play here, and I think it's about 300 pound a year. So Andy, or Paul, listen. 
massive respect from me to saving this course. It's one you love. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put it out there. Minus eight, course record. He got it. See you tomorrow.